Hey, welcome to a new video. I will show you how to automatically generate a client library for web APIs that use the Open API format. Using a web API is easy. Check out the documentation and implement the request in the target language. But what if you need to implement a whole bunch of endpoints? It makes one feel like Sisyphus rolling up the stone a mountain. Let's stop rolling stones up a mountain and automate it. One great tool is the Open API generator. It can be used when the API is using the Open API format. You can generate the client in a huge bunch of languages. First, go to openapigenerator.tech and find the install section. There you can choose your preferred way to install it. After the installation, search for the GitHub repo of the API you want to use or simply search directly for the openapi definition file. In this case, openai is providing the needed description. Open the description file, download it and move it to the directory you want to work in. Now, with everything in place, we just need to enter the command to generate the client. Set the input file with the minus i parameter, add the minus g to set the language. In this case, we use Rust, and minus o will be the output directory. Here we get an error, as the file is not valid. But with skip validate spec, we can maneuver around that problem. Now switch to your preferred IDE and try to start or compile the client. As with Rust, we will simply use cargo build. And it doesn't work. Now comes the hard part, but I show you an easy way to handle it. With the error at hand, we simply exclude the according module first. This only works if the endpoint you want to use is not needed. Otherwise, you need to fix the errors in the code. Mostly it is a wrong reference or a type is just set up wrong. Your IDE diagnostics will help you there. Here, some enum and models is making stress. So we simply mark all the modules that may incorporate there and comment them. If we later want to use it, it can successively uncomment them and fix the errors accordingly. After that, we build everything again and fix the next error in the same way. After doing it over and over again, in the end, it took me like five minutes, the whole client should build and you are now able to use it for your project. This is a simple approach to generate a client in your preferred language fast and easy. The end of the video will just show how I'm fixing the warnings to get a clean build. So if you want to see it, just stay in. I reduce the speed in the video. Thanks for watching.